Hello, good morning. It's been a little while. I had that <coughs> thing that everyone's got globally. Uh, I don't want to say it on here because YouTube's a bit funny about it. Um, but yeah, and the other thing is I haven't got a sounder. So no sounder down here. It's been sent away. It's getting sorted. So um, today we're just going to fumble around in the dark. So it's going to be a pearl a day. I'm going to head offshore. But I can only like do so much without a sound so um, I need to get a fish in the esky so let's do that might come back in the river but they're fairly nuked lately the rivers like they're all just brown so I got to dodge some debris getting out and then we'll be out so. made it out here obviously we weren't ever not gonna make it to be honest I need some scissors and I'm just gonna troll the lure do I have a lure here somewhere oh, this needs a big clean out but I'm gonna put this uh, on and go for a bit of troll it's no sounder but I sort of know the ground so I can go trolling no dramas and then I got this big clacky as well so We'll just see what's see what's going on today. Get rid of that off there. The shortest leader ever. That's right. So 50 pound braid, 100 pound leader. Pull that through. Uh, this is just P5 stick. And then I've got a little split ring on here. Right, get rid of that little drag off there. So that'll just let me change hot swap stuff as needed. So just uh, tie a loop knot, sorry. Quickly tie a loop knot on there. And then down to single strand wire, and then Halco Laser Pro. Uh, I put those hooks on there. So. Yeah, there you go. That's basic rig. Sorry, I sounded still a little bit husky from the thingamajig that I had, but um, yeah, that's that's pretty well it. So you can chuck that out the back, and we'll get started. So we're going. I like to keep it at about seventeen thousand RPM on mine. Make sure the handle's not tapping. Pretty well good to go. You just have to find your own sort of tune with it. I've got something stuck in my um, speed thing. There's a little hole on your on your outboard and you just gotta stick a little pin in there every now and again to get your knots back. But I know if it's 17 <coughs> 17, 18,000. 1800, sorry. <coughs> RPM. We're off the racing. A good vibe on it, eh? Very good vibration. Come on, come on, he's coming. This guy's gonna go on the box, I think. Come on, let's go. He felt alright. Got a fair bit of line off me though. Got heaps of line off me. Going out to the left there. He's just coming upstream here. Good one. Very good one. 
he's just working his way up this way. He's sort of running. Looks like he's going to do a jump. No, he's on the surface. Hey, he's not happy, eh? He's not happy at all. He's not happy. Oh, it's a good size span. Good size Spanish, that one. Hey! He's very angry. He's very angry. He's too big for me, that one. What's he? He's like a meat or something. Nibs. Oh, he's barely hooked too. He's angry, man. He's an angry boy. Very angry boy. Oh, this is where I lose him. He's not ready yet. This is why people use gaffs. I feel. Oh my god, what's he doing to me? Come here. Come on up. I just need to get his tail. Here we go. Big spano. Big spano. Oh, he's pretty heavy. Hey, big dude. Crack and span. <laughs> How good. There we go. Cut that out. We'll bleed him. We'll head straight back in. He's in the box. Doesn't quite fit, but alright. All good. Alright, well, there you go. That guy there. Too Spanish on today. Shame I couldn't get on the live stream. I was trying to do a live stream with you guys on the Instagram, but kept dropping out. So, just as you go in and out of this island here, you know, this side, that side, it just drops out. So, we're going to cruise back in now, fill this guy up, and um, get him on ice. Well, he's on ice there, but he's not going to quite fit in in there. So, I'll cruise back in and, and get him processed, and we'll go from there. All right, time to fillet. First things first, sharp knife, and I like to bring my fillet on the Spanish all the way down, past the spine on one side, flip it over, do the same on the other side, and then you just across the bottom, across the belly, and those sides will come off. As you can see here, I'm taking everything I can off the frame with a little spoon, a little knife, whatever you need to get it. As you can see, a fair bit comes off, which we will utilize at another point. Take your bloodlines out, um, if you don't want to eat those bits, get rid of the bones. I'll chop it up on all these little fillets. I'll bag them and I'll just skin them as I need them. Plus, I'm probably going to give a bit of this away. So, um, yeah. All right, so the dish we're doing is a spicy mackerel mango salsa with coconut rice. So, got coconut cream. I've got this jasmine rice that is part way cooked or it's a microwave version um, it's just going to cut down on my time with uh, doing it in the car uh, so just chuck that on the hot plate and stir every so often and you'll be right two little fillets here squeeze fresh lemon over them salt pepper paprika cumin and that's going to give us our little bit of spice a little zestiness to that mackerel fillet so um, oil your hot plate whack it straight down in there it won't take long and in the meantime, we will cut up our salsa. Just give that rice a bit of a stir, it's looking good already. All right, mangoes, red onions, avocados, garlic, capsicum. So just very small piece of garlic, um, chop it up as fine as you can, very, very fine. We ain't cooking it, it's just gonna be mixed in there with everything else. So make sure it's nice and fine so you don't get any big chunks. Uh, just dice up the avocado and dump it in and um, that's going to give us a nice little cool flavor along with the mango nice fine dice on the red onions sprinkle that in don't want to have too much onion can give you a belly ache. you can see our fish here you can see where the whites come up through the flesh there it's time to flip so flip that that's all good it's coming along nicely good bit of color on there stir rice Cut some capsicum, you can cut it really fine. I like to keep it a little bit thicker, there's no rules. Then we move on to the mangoes. The mango, we just slice and dice it, add it in. 
nice cool flavor there with the avo as well and then to finish we just fresh lime juice perfect very very fresh then just add it all together no frills there nothing special but it's very very refreshing with that fruit in there with the mango the avo the coconut rice perfect <laughs>